Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no-good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him, too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change. I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. How do you do, sir? All right. We should get moving. I thought I'd never see you again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. 
I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Money's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. All right, Jack. You're gonna have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. And if you see cows straying off, Look can out. you help me round them up? Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or, trying to at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. That's all up. Jack! Wait there! I'm coming! Come on! You alright? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared, honest. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Alright. Let's round up the stragglers and get moving. Hey! 
Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. Real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse and wait for me by the stable. Easy. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. So we're rancher? Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though, tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done OK. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. Go on! Scat! Shh.
How about that stew? John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarlane. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't... Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. Changed my mind. I'm coming with you. Well, come on, man. Let's get going. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland. I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goats manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. John, I guess I better go fix us something to eat.
What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Stay close to the dog, son. Come. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Look, I see one. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Whoa. Show you how to cut the meat. Whoa! I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, Paul. Huh? You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush it. Woo! That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. What are you doing? Let's keep moving. Go on, Rufus. Sniff us out a couple more. Go on, Rufus. Come on! Come on! You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul! Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it! I know, I know! I saw how you did it! You say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Yeah. Find him, Rufus. Stay on him, boy. Whoa. Go on, boy. You can find him, Rufus. Let's go! Slow down! Look! They're over there! Steady now. What am I doing here? Get after him! Saw how I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. I'll find him. I saw where he went down. Should be just over here. I know I saw him go down somewhere around here. Come on, Come easy on. up now.
Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Hey, watch it! Last still. <laughs> You did good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You wait here. I'll be just a moment. So sorry, Mr. Marston. Lost my footing. Come on in. Hi there. Well, let's see what we can do for you. Gone to arrest, I guess. Hello there, Mr. Marston. old Somerset's been making himself even more goddamn bonanza lately. I don't wish to be rude, but I really must be leaving you. Bye now. And here we are. Enjoy the journey. I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. Hello. There. That's what I got. All done. Let's head home. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. Come on, easy up now. Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. I can't rightly believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Up, old man. I, I am up. Get up. Oh. Oh. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Let's keep them moving now. 
your pound of flesh from me today. Deal now. What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna man up, kid?
Come on, follow me. Yeah. Come on. Why you got act so big over there? I see him. Come on. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. 
Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. Howdy, John. Tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. You don't show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Gotta get out there and scare them off. You wanna come with me? Safer with two. Okay. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Let's go. Good boy. Look, son. He sniffed him out! Paul! What are you doing? Let's go! Watch yourself now, son! They might turn on us!
turn into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. on your own. You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Now hold tight. You all right? Yeah. I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What'd I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You, I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. I'm sorry I made you worry, Paul. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. <laughs> Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? I ain't meant the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. 
You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside, you hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Pa? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. There's still time for you to run, old man. I'll hold him here. Great alive! <laughs> <laughs> gonna do now what's wrong what's happened stay inside you hear like I said there'll be more coming oh what do they want I don't know son whatever it is <gasps> it ends here oh look how many there are they're gonna kill us aren't they no I ain't gonna let that happen <gasps> cover me Hang in there, Uncle! 
Uncle, I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and... <coughs> Don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! It's this way! We're gonna head for the barn! I see him! Get behind something! Just stay alert! You're about to... Don't waste time aiming! Just shoot! Go hit something! Don't make you take him again! Stay in cover! You two watch each other! Move! I'm taking you all down with me! Don't ease up now! We gotta clear some space! I'll kill all you sons of bitches! Keep firing! Don't let them get too close! You're making a big mistake, friend! Keep your eyes open! Now! Quick! Run for it! Keep your heads down! Everybody alright? Ain't no need to die, friend! I'll handle him! You two watch yourself! Alright, you're covered! Now go! Go! Our business is done here, fellas. Hey, come on. Now listen, Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. Keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get!
that! Jack, we have to go back for Pa! Let's go! Sky on the lone prairie. 